Yellowstone's grizzly bears are now targets for trophy hunting. In 2017, the federal government stripped grizzly bears of their protections under the Endangered Species Act and returned management authority to the states. With low reproductive rates and mounting human threats, scientists argue that state plan trophy hunting will reverse over 40 years of progress towards recovery. And the state opens a hunting season, I think many hearts would break. I know mine would. Right now, the growth rate for grizzly bears is negative, so the population is currently declining. So hunting will impose a large additional source of mortality uh, to the population. I don't think bears have evolved to be hunted like traditional game animals. If you think about it, it's kind of absurd on the face of it. Yes, let's recover them and then let's shoot them. Last year, mortality was 85 bears out of a population of approximately 700. That sort of mortality doesn't begin to be sustainable, and that is with federal protection. When you put the management in the hands of three states who are antagonistic towards large carnivores, to carnivores in general, it's a recipe for catastrophic disaster. The grizzly bear is a symbol of a wild America that has been largely lost. Today, grizzlies find refuge in perhaps only 1% of the lands where they once roamed. While three states now control the fate of Yellowstone's grizzlies, bears belong to all of us. The American public has expressed overwhelming opposition to removing endangered species protections and to trophy hunting grizzlies. So one of the most controversial issues regarding grizzly bears clearly is whether or not we should hunt bears post delisting. Ultimately, it may come down to an ethical judgment regarding whether or not hunting of species like grizzly bears is appropriate to begin with. We have really good public data that suggests that while people are generally supportive of hunting, they are not supportive of trophy hunting. It's something that the data show that clearly the public just does not support. Again, some of the public opinion polling suggests that people generally want bears to be listed. They want to see further recovery efforts. People would like to see more grizzly bears in more places and would like to see those populations protected. Virtually all independent scientists agree that grizzlies need continued protections, not hunting as Idaho and Wyoming propose. What I feel is that the American people don't want their iconic Yellowstone bears and Grand Teton bears that are supposedly protected in national parks to be killed when they venture outside of the park. The biggest threats to grizzly bears are human-caused deaths and deteriorating habitat conditions. Their future isn't secure yet because they face so many threats to their survival. Two of their four major foods have all but been wiped out due to climate change, disease, and invasive species. Climate change is already affecting vegetation. It's affecting whitebark pine. It's affecting trout. It's affecting elk habitat, because it impacts almost everything that grizzlies use for food and habitat. Certainly in Yellowstone, what we've got is an isolated population. And all the research that's been done on biogeography tells us that any isolated population is going to be intrinsically that much more vulnerable to any changes in its environment. It really then comes down to whether we can connect this population with populations of grizzly bears elsewhere. If we can't, the ecosystem continues to unravel, densities continue to decline, they're going to be that much more vulnerable potentially to extirpation. The Endangered Species Act is important for a couple of different reasons. One, it's a safety net for species and populations that are at grave risk. But another reason it's important is it's one of the few laws that unambiguously gives all the American public a voice in management of wildlife. I think the public is in love with the iconic notion of the grizzly bear because they are beautiful highly intelligent and basically magnificent animals. Uh, they embody the best of what America has to offer. Regardless of whether you think they are endangered or not, 
Here we have a population of a species that is of national interest. And the national public deserves a voice in their management, not only now, but in perpetuity. What we really need to do is foster coexistence. Figure out how it is we can be a more benign presence on the landscape. And I'm convinced that if we become more tolerant, if we become more proactive, if we work assiduously to coexist with grizzly bears, that there will be room for that many more of us. They should be protected forever. Get angry. Do something about it.